Hi, my name is Christopher Wright from the English training company here in Madrid, Spain. And I'm here to talk to you today about why non-native English speakers are better communicators than native English speakers. In international meetings, in international presentations, international conference calls, international emails, when we write emails between uh, different offices in different countries, you will find that on average, non-native English speakers, once they reach a certain level of English, are more effective because they're able to write and speak in a simpler clearer and more concise way. That's right, clear, simple and concise. Another thing that non-native English speakers do well when communicating in English is they avoid jargon and abbreviations. They don't pepper their language or fill their language full of lots of abbreviations and terms and expressions that not everybody knows. They make sure they use simple abbreviations and simple expressions that they know everybody will know. And the third thing is they really avoid jargon and slang and humour. You can use a little bit of humour, but you need to be very careful. It needs to be very general, very international that most people can relate to. So remember, humour and jargon you need to be careful with. Okay. I hope this helps and remember, that's why I think non-native English speakers are better communicators in international contexts, in international business. I hope this helped and remember, when you're working with native English speakers, tell them. Tell them the need to be clear, simple and concise, to avoid abbreviations and jargon and to avoid too much use of humour. With those three points. You're going to make international communication with native English speakers a lot easier. And remember, if you don't understand, check and clarify. Ask them to explain it in a simpler way. Check that you understand the meaning. Don't be quiet. Ask, participate, let them know, let them realize that speaking and working in another language is difficult. Hope this helps.